Hello, this is Yorick with Crypto Manufaktur. Uh, today I am going to talk to you about the SSV incentivized testnet. So this is secret shared validators on the Proto testnet for Ethereum proof of stake. Um, I'm also going to link to another video that talks about you know what what uh, SSV is in the first place. So what this is is Block Staking has said, okay, we're going to give you an incentive um, to run on testnet. And this is both for stakers and for node operators. There's going to be 32,000 SSV tokens. Those are the tokens that are going to be used in SSV once it goes live uh, that are going to be airdropped to validators, to operators, and to verified operators. Anyone can be an operator. Getting to be a verified operator takes a little bit more effort. And anybody can uh, stake with uh, Gurley ETH, test ETH. So let's take a look. How does that work? So here's your incentivized testnet, 32,000 SSV. Uh, it'll run from October 1st, 2021, I think. That's right, uh, roughly there, to the end of the year. And 50% uh, of that will go to active validators. 25% will go to all operators. And 25% will go to verified operators. So there's your reward distribution. Uh, all you need to do if you want to be part of this testnet is stake 32 Gureth, um with four operators of your choosing. So as was always with SSV, your key gets split into four and three of these operators need to be up at any given time. So as long as you have a 90% attestation rate or above, this is deliberately a little low because we're on Prata testnet and Prata testnet gets a little wooly. Um, you are eligible for airdrops. So you need to choose the right combo of operators so that you get um, great validator performance. The Explorer, which I'm going to go into in just a second here, uh, will have performance metrics for operators. It does not have that currently, but it will. Um, fingers crossed by the time this goes live, that is live as well. And this part here, stakers will comp be compensated for operator diversification. So if you choose operators that have fewer um, validators under their wing, as it were, you will get more SSV dropped to you. So you got to kind of balance that, right? Am I choosing someone who has very few? Great. Are they also performing well? And view operator stats in the SSV Network Explorer to come. Um, as of today, the 31st of August, all you can see is how many validators somebody has. For operators, if you want to give this a, a run, there uh, are instructions. You can run this on um, like a cloud instance or something. You're supposed to be up 24-7. Um, you're going to run an SSV node, which backends to a um, consensus client, like a Lighthouse or a Teku and to an execution client like a Geth on Proto and Gurley. Um, and again, your attestation rate needs to be above 90% for the entire week. And then verified operators get a special reward. Uh, currently, um, the verified operators are screened by blocks. They'll stop that in mid-September. And then the screening process will be handed over to the DAO. Uh, interesting point about that. The DAO is made of up of everyone who holds SSV token. So if you participate in this incentivized testnet and you get some SSV airdrop to you, you're part of the DAO. And then the rest here goes into um, you know what's the distribution mechanics, especially at the at the end of each week. Um, this gets cut to you. So go ahead and stake on testnet. If you need girly ETH, uh, I think blocks uh, are going to help people out, but also the ETH staker Discord has a bot that it can deposit for you. So you'd like use deposit CLI, uh, create the deposit data JSON, create the key store M as normal. And I'll have a, I have another video that talks a little bit about that and I'll, I'll link that. And you'll have the bot deposit the 32 go ETH for you. Okay, so lastly, I want to ask you to use Crypto Manufacture, uh, uh, my own thing, as one of your four uh, node operators. 
Uh, we've been at this since the very beginning of Testnet 2. We were the first verified node operator to go online and uh, worked through some of the early bugs with block staking. And uh, I want to show you what the infrastructure looks like that we're running. So if you're interested, stay around and you'll see a little bit of a behind the scenes. So the way this is set up, um, I've set up the node, is a little different from the original instructions by Blocks. I took the instructions and I iterated on them. So first you see this SSV node here. Um, that's the node itself that receives one fourth of a key. It's actually one copy across three data centers. Um, behind the scenes, I'm using Docker Swarm for this. So it's set to run only one copy. Obviously, I don't want to try and you know have this uh, three times. It's using um, stateful storage behind the scenes. So there's only one copy of the database and of the keys. And it runs on one of three worker nodes. So if you know um, one data center goes down entirely, it fails over to another. And then I also have redundant um, execution client, Geth, and valid uh, consensus client, Lighthouse and Teku, in two US locations. Uh, for this, I'm using HAProxy with a main failover. I did actually try and load balance this and see how that works. Uh, that was an interesting experiment. Um, as Adam Savage famously says, the only difference between screwing around and science is writing it down. So <laughs> with screwing around uh, and or science, we found out that uh, when you load balance between two consensus clients or beacon nodes, um, that actually does not help uh, attestation performance at all. So right now it's uh, main failover and it will remain that. This should be good, I should also say, so um, this should be good for a thousand to two thousand validators on that one node. Um, help us break it, seriously. Um, you know, to know where the limit is for mainnet, it'll be incredibly helpful to hit that limit on testnet. So make it scream, try and hug it to death, and uh, we'll see how it behaves. If we can find corner cases, or we can find you know, where's the performance limit um, during testnet, uh, that would be incredibly helpful. All right, so um, I'm gonna show you a couple Explorer things, uh, I think, to close out. And and Portana. So this is actually this is the Portana that this runs in. This looks into the Docker Swarm. So you see, I got my HA proxy and I got my um, SSV node. That's really all it is. Um, this is the Grafana that we're running. That shows us uh, how we're doing here. Are we up and running? How are the various validators doing that are currently on this node? Some of them, as you see, only have two peers. There's there's one uh, one node operator down somewhere. And um, this over here is actually one of my own validators that I stuck in there. And you can see the effectiveness is not perfect. Um, still digging into this, I'm wondering whether this is partially Prater and how much of it is SSV. So you see the inclusion distance here isn't optimal there as well. And then we got a couple orphaned attestations, which means they didn't make it into blocks. This is likely a Praterism, I'm thinking. Right? This is very likely that this is because um, Prater just uh, does not have perfect participation. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we're going to make sure that this number goes up. It was at like 97% this morning, and then a few things got abandoned, unfortunately, those uh, orphaned attestations. Um, this is where you can see us on the Explorer. So right now it's 55 validators on there. This is the validator I am running for test purposes. This is with Paul from Sigma Prime, Xerox A, myself, and block staking. And then um, lastly, the last thing I'll leave you with is when you do this through the app.prata.ssv.network, this is where you select operators. It's in um, alphabetical order, verified operators first. And here we are as crypto manufacturer. So I'm asking you choose that and then any other three you like. And I'm gonna do my absolute utmost to reward uh, your trust. 
Okay, thank you. Have a great day.